The MTHFR and methylation report provides information about the common polymorphisms in the MTHFR gene associated with increased levels of homocysteine, a harmful substance, in the blood. MTHFR is a gene that codes for the enzyme called methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase. This enzyme is responsible for the conversion of inactive folate to active folate. A variation in this gene in some people can disrupt this conversion and lead to various health problems. Some signs of MTHFR polymorphisms are cardiovascular and thromboembolic diseases, anxiety, bipolar disorder, colon cancer, and chronic pain. In this section, you'll find the definition of some of the terms used in the report. There are two important MTHFR SNPs, RS1801133 and RS1801131, associated with the MTHFR enzyme activity. Depending on the genotype of these SNPs, your final result is displayed as a bar diagram. The next section of the report titled, Other MTHFR SNPs, profiles your genotypes for other variations in the MTHFR gene, which are associated, in varying degrees, with MTHFR enzyme activity. The normal column denotes the variant associated with normal enzyme activity, and the risk column displays the variant associated with reduced enzyme activity. Geno refers to your genotype. If you carry two risk variants for the SNP, then it is marked in red. If you carry one risk variant, it is marked in yellow, and if you carry two normal variants, it is marked in white. The rank describes the impact of the SNPs on health. High denotes high-impact SNPs with a greater impact on health. Medium and low indicate moderate and lower impacts, respectively. Please bear in mind that the rank is a theoretical value and not experimentally verified. This section of the report talks about the implications of MTHFR mutations. One common effect of the mutation is elevated homocysteine levels, which have been linked with conditions such as birth defects, heart diseases, Alzheimer's, and depression. The recommendations provided here are targeted at decreasing homocysteine levels. They are to be followed only after consulting with a qualified medical practitioner. Please bear in mind that human traits are a result of complex interactions between multiple genes and environmental factors. The findings presented in this report are of a preliminary nature and are not meant for diagnostic purposes.